Okay, this video is for the craft game, and for today we're going to be making this one text-based, so we will not be using graphics like we were in the past, at least not yet. All right, so the basic rules of craps, that's the first thing we need to get to know, get familiar with. Now, these are just the basic rules, so if some of you understand the more advanced rules, uh, we're not going into those. We're just going to be doing basic. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have the, ask the player to roll two die. They roll the die, they hit, they press enter on their keyboard, and then it tells them what they got. And if, here's our if statements, if the player throws a 7 or an 11, then we're going to print out on the screen, you win, good job. If the player, or else if, the player rolls a 2, 3, or a 12, we write, we're going to print out, nope, you lost. Then the third option is if they roll anything else, which would be a 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, then we're going to say on the screen, the point is set at, and then whatever they, let's say they rolled a 5, the point is set at 5. Go on to round 2, and then in round 2 it says, okay, now the objective is to roll the point again before rolling a 7. So they, we tell them to hit enter to roll the die. Now in round 2, if the player rolls the point, let's say they roll that 5 again, it's going to say, Player wins. Good job. You win. Or else if the player rolls a 7, we're going to say, oh, you crapped out. You lose. And then if the player rolls anything other than the point, the 5, or the 7, then we just say, we're still in round 2. Roll again. And so then it goes back up. It's a loop. And it goes right here. Point is set. Press enter to roll the die. And then, we, and then it evaluates again. So it gets them stuck in this loop until they either win and it says game over or they lose game over. Um, let's just quickly run, I want to run this and go through the scenarios with you. So I just typed in roll two die here. I'm just grabbing the first website that has a little die roller. Roll two die, so I hit roll. Let's pretend I rolled. Okay, we got a three. So you tell me what should we do? Hmm, player rolled a three. Ah, we print out, you lost, too bad. Let's do it again. This time we rolled a 6, a 5 and a 1 for a 6. Hmm, is it a 7, 11? No. It's no, 2, 3, 12, no. It's a 6. Okay, the point is set at 6. We are now in round 2. Okay, we're in round 2. Did I roll a 6 again? Ooh, I did. So, the, we would say, you won, you rolled a 6 again, or something like that. Or you rolled the point, good job, you win. And then we go back to starting over. Now we're back in round 1, I roll again. 6 plus 2 is 8. So, not a 7, 11, not a 2, 3, or 12. Oh, it's an 8. So we say the point is set at 8. Now we're in round 2. Try to roll an 8 again before you roll a 7. I rolled a 9. Keep rolling, because remember, if it's not the point, not the 7, then you keep rolling. Uh, let's see here. So we're trying to roll an 8 again, because my first, the point is set at 8. 5, keep rolling. Trying to roll an 8. 5 and 3, that is 8. Ah, you win. Oh my gosh, you guys are seeing me get lucky. That's not true in real world. In the real world, if you go up to Cripple Creek, you may, you may get lucky for a little while, but you're going to end up losing your money in the end. So here's my advice while I'm showing you this. is If you're going to go to Cripple Creek and you go, Oh, Mr. G taught me how to roll die. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to go up there and win some money. No, you're not. You're going to end up losing. You might win 1 out of 10 times that you go up there and play. But... Here's how you can win every time. You go buy stock, just like we did at the beginning of class. So I had you guys all uh, enter the stock market game. So you go look up Bronco Billies and you buy some stock in Bronco Billies. Look up their code. And then when you walk up, or you go up to Cripple Creek, you walk around and you don't gamble. You just watch all the other suckers losing their money. And you go, ah, I'm part owner of this establishment. And I'm winning when they're all losing their money. And you just walk around with a big smile on your face. And that's how you win gambling. All right, back to our, our code. So I'm going to go to Python and I'm going to go to File, New. And if you guys, while I was rambling on there, did you see what I did? I went down to the bottom. Oh, geez, where did I just do? I just clicked something. There we go. So I copied this stuff and I pasted it. Oops. I mean, I going to paste it and that's how I'm going to get started you're going to change your name change the period anyway so I gave you some code to get you going okay to get you into the while loop so here it gives the instructions 
Here's where it gives you this. Now, you can go ahead and pause the screen if you want when I get to the rest of my code. Where is it at? Um, this one right here. So here's where I copied it from. Okay, so I have everything copied from here. I've given you this code. And now you're going to start here. So I'm going to scroll down so that you can see the rest of my code. And I think, oh, it doesn't go all the way. Oops. Okay, I'll just stop it right here for a minute. Okay, so here's where you're starting. And you can just pause the video if you want for a while. And then I'll scroll down in just a minute. I'm going to just quickly talk through this. So here's where we press enter to have them roll the die. We set up our two random variables, die one, die two. We make a total variable that totals the two. And then we print out on the screen, you rolled a blank and a blank for a total of that. If the total two, if it's equal to total, excuse me, if the total is equal to two or the total is equal to three or total is equal to 12, you lose just like all the gamblers do. And then, or else if you rolled a seven or an 11, you win. And then the last, then the else statement says they must have rolled one of the other ones. So then we say the point is set at, we go to round two. And notice I put, put them into a, a loop here, a while loop. So I say roll equals go. And now here's the rest of the code. Print, we are in round two and you are trying to roll the point. Press enter, to, the enter key to roll the die. So now I've set up two new variables, die x, die y new total, a new variable, which adds these two, sums them, and it tells them what they rolled. And then we do the evaluation statements, our conditional statements. If new total equals seven, you crapped out, and then roll equals stop, so it kicks them out of this loop. If the new total equals the old total, that means they rolled the point. So we say they won, and then we roll equals stop to kick them out of this loop, this while loop. Or else we keep them in the loop. Notice roll equals stop is listed at those two, but not here. I say the point is still set at, and then it goes back up here and says we are in round two. And so it lets them just keep rolling until they either get a seven or whatever the point was set at. Now, once it kicks them out of this loop, or even if they don't go into this loop, let's say they won one of these two, or one of these two options were true, and it never even went into else. So in either case, now it's all done playing the game goes down here. Notice that this is really important. It needs to be at the same level. This play loop. Uh, so those of you guys who come back, you say, Mr. G, it's not asking me to play the new round. It keeps, it just gets stuck in the loop. And I'm going to say, go watch my video because I pointed this out. You have to be lined up only one indent in right here or else it won't let them play again. All right. Have fun with it. I'm going to Oh, actually, I forgot. Now I'm going to do the honors. Okay, so let me talk about the honors. So the rest of you guys can uh, stop, keep going. But this is fun for those of you, even if you're not doing the honors class. The honor students need to add betting. All right, so let's add a bet in here. I'm going to pause and do some, copy some video, uh, some, some of my code, excuse me. Okay, so the first chunk of code that we need to add is to let them know that they start off with... 10 chips. So I put, put a new print line in here. It says you start with 10 chips. Good luck. But now that means I need a new variable. So I'm going to add chips. Oops. Chips equals 10. And now we're set up with that. Let's go ahead and turn back on my line numbers to make this easier. Okay, so those are the first two chunks of code that you guys need for honors credit. You're setting them up with a variable, 10 chips. Now the next piece I'm going to give you and then you've got to figure out the rest. Next piece I'm giving you is right here. We need to add this chunk of code. Inside the while loop, you want to ask them how many chips they'd like to bet. Bet equals. So in the future, when they win, think this through, you've got to increase their chip count. And when they lose, you've got to decrease their chip count because um, you want to tell them how many chips they have at the end of the game. You could add it right up here if you want to add a print statement up here to say print you have blank chips uh, if you'd like or you can just because you already told them that they start with 10 chips up here the first time it goes through the loop but then after it goes down to the bottom and they played and they've either won or lost you can say it down there that's how I have my code set up and it says you now have blank chips would you like to play again and then when it lets them play again it comes up and it says how many would you like to bet so 
uh, you can do it either way. But anyway, to get you started, here's what you need. These, this code and these two lines to get you going. And now you just have to figure out how to increase your chip count or decrease every time they win or they lose. All right, have some fun with it.